Cam Studio recording test take two. Uh, let's hope this works out. Move my microphone out of the way here. Hopefully, uh, won't make too much noise and you'll be able to pick me up just fine. Anyways, gonna play a little Minecraft just for demonstration purposes. Um, first world was actually my third world on this version, uh, and I say that because. My previous uh, five or so worlds that I created were lost when my last computer crashed. Or, yeah, crashed. Um, I had to format the hard drive, wasn't able to recover those items. Uh, the hard drive was corrupted or something. Anyways, uh, yeah, Playground was my first attempt at being in survival mode. Sandbox. Um, let me take it back. I think Sandbox is first. Um, but then Playground was a little more successful. Uh, I played it longer. First World, on the other hand, um, proved to be really uh, a lot more beneficial, and that was inadvertently created, or created for another purpose, I should say. So I'm surprised at how well it became my predominant world currently. I'm still green when it comes to the survival mode, but um, as you can see, I'm well, well stocked, well positioned in this place, and I will get into uh, why that is uh, as we go. Uh, again, hopefully you can hear me okay, and uh, I'm just kind of chilling right now because it's nighttime, or it's starting to get nighttime anyways, you can kind of see over here. Oh, slow play. I don't know why. I was just on my other world and it was a lot smoother. So it must be something about the settings on this, and a combination of this world and the settings. Kind of dark out. Can't see the moon from here. There it is. So it just got nighttime. Of course, I want to get away from the world uh, window. You can see a couple of dogs or uh, wolves, as they're known here. Um, obviously a bed, plenty of light, some storage in the floor, some windows, got some cactus uh, barriers around some of my uh, vulnerable spots. Um, things that had too many of these uh, creepers and whatever hanging around my roof there. This was a shelter I threw together because it was getting dark and I just needed some place to stay. I was too far from my, uh, what was then my home base. <clears throat> I have uh, since made this my home base. But uh, it's getting, it's a little dark so there's nothing going on here. Let's spin around. This, uh, when I started this home base it was Kind of like that was the edge of the room. Kind of did a little zigzag or something. Uh, of course, pushed back over time. Oh yeah, so I have a couple of dogs. Uh, actually, I believe I currently have 11 dogs. Uh, the rest of them are out there, chilling. Uh, I found, uh, because they follow you, they also tend to get in your way and they bump you far too much. So I usually have them sitting, unless I'm doing something actively with them and even then it was not so successful I uh, thought I'd go explore a dark cave and bring them all with me because I'm really wimpy against the uh, mobs and stuff but um, what happened is they kept pushing me in directions I didn't want to go and they kept jumping over me and getting in my way and I was trying to you know chop at some uh, stone or something and I would hit them instead um, oh a bit of advice don't tell them to sit when you're using your when you have a bow and arrow in your hand because you end up shooting them uh, you probably knew this if you have have dogs already but um, yeah just word of advice anyways um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sit here actually what I think I'm gonna do is pause the video for a second See if this works. No. And uh, yeah. Uh, 
Okay, I'm back. I uh, realized why I wasn't getting the results I was expecting. I was still on place peaceful mode from uh, exploring my other world. Um, so I turned it back onto normal survival mode, which is how I've been playing this particular world. And if you listen closely, you should probably hear it. Get it? Anyways, aside from the uh, barking dogs, of which I actually have 11 uh, trained dogs, um, I'm also very near a uh, near a um, skeleton spawn point, um, which has really worked out well for me because I found this early on, and it was near the surface. And what I did is uh, during the daylight hours, I carved out. Uh, the roof and uh, put a door near the surf near the edge because it was near, near a top of a hillside shall we say so I let them spawn all night and in the morning I go in there and clean up all the bones and uh, arrowheads that I want and uh, it worked out pretty good you can see I have 10 uh, bones right there in my hand and uh, 31 arrowheads here or arrows and I believe I have a handful um, either in one of those chests or in the chest at my other base, which was my original base, which was a base of convenience, not of um, not a good place to start uh, your kingdom <laughs> from. Anyways, so uh, you can kind of hear they're getting more and more. The sun's starting to come up, uh, or it's getting close. So uh, they've had time to uh, generate a few of them. Um, and then once the sun comes up, oh, there's a uh, zombie over there by my front door. I don't know if you can see it. I'll try to point to him. Over there. Yeah, they walk around. Uh, as you as um, as we explore my little uh, home here, I have uh, several exits just because I found... Oh, um, I think they're starting to, to die or something. Anyways, um... I'd get kind of trapped by my door because uh, a creeper or somebody would be, uh, there he goes, burning up. A creeper would be uh, hanging around too close to my door and I wouldn't have a chance to get out and get to a defensible space. Um, you know, the sun's coming up so I'll make my way over this door you can kind of see. Uh, daylight. Kind of open spaces over there. You see that kind of right there, that little edge of the dirt. Um, maybe you'll see more over here as I move forward. This used to be all pretty flat land in front of my door. Now there's uh, a couple of giant pits. Actually there's three. There's one more over that way. Um, I, I outran him, the creeper that is, but um, he still did a lot of devastation in front of my house. Uh, you can kind of make them out there, the, uh, some of my other dogs. I only keep two of them indoors, and I uh, make them sit, because uh, they do follow you, and they do get in your way. Oops, sorry about that. This world's a little uh, resource-heavy, it seems. Quick search, make sure nobody's uh, well, creeping around my back door, as it were. I've had uh, more than a few that uh, were too close to my door. Switch to a weapon in case I need it. And usually come out here and do a survey. There's a creeper or something off in the distance a lot of times. Okay, looks pretty safe. I built that uh, little outcropping to get to the top of that tree so I could chop down, and then I missed one of the blocks as I came downward. So I uh, have a tree floating up there. Um, this is the start of my farm. It's not much. I'm just now learning how to do the farming. Uh, trial and error. Whoops, there's one. And uh, where's my bow and arrow? Oh, there she is. 
get him out of the way so I don't get surprised by him later. dog pound. Woof, woof, guys. And there it is. My little money maker. And it's not as uh, well stocked this time because I didn't have it on um, uh, survival mode the whole night. I forgot that it was off, so a lot of it got left off. So that's the gist of this area. Done some exploring here and there. Um, my other base is over that way. It's not very exciting. And uh, I'll take you over there in another episode. But just to uh, give you an idea of where I'm at. Again, another one of those uh, pits. I think. Not this one, sorry. Last hole. Blast hole. And I think this is actually two blast holes. That's why it's so big. Um, I think I ran outside and I forgot I did not have my arrows. So, there's a front door and cactus to keep them from sneaking up overhead. Um, not the most, uh, not the preferred way, but um, it's better to be inside a, uh, what you call it, have a higher face, uh, cliff face above you so they can't be hiding over there. I've had spiders hiding up there, creepers. So, anyways, that's the start of my base, and hopefully this recorded well. Thank you very much, and good night.